Hello everyone. Um, welcome and I hope you're all doing well. <coughs> Today I'm going to attempt <coughs> this uh, photograph again. I've done it once a couple of weeks ago. I believe it's a photograph uh, from someone in Vietnam. I kind of like this because you know I'm seeing a lot of very interesting um, <clears throat> lines, edges and shapes. Not a lot of color variation which is okay and I, I can also see um, time of the day, the light. Um, so I'm going to play a little bit, um, show you what I do, what goes through my mind. <clears throat> I may not be able to um, speak very much while I'm playing so I hope you don't mind. Uh, I've got a few tools that <clears throat> I will use when I'm sketching so I've got my um, soft black wing pencil. I've got a 8B water soluble graphite here. I've got a size 6 rosemary sable brush series 22, one of my favorite size and uh, series. I also have the same brush um, by rosemary series 22 in size 8. I have a Da Vinci um, series 11 which is the English um, so this is a little bit um, fuller in the belly so it holds a lot more water and I'm <clears throat> gonna it sharpen some at the opposite the tip of the brush so I'm gonna use it and then I might use my credit card some of us know that I love to play my credit card and I have a flat brush here a synthetic by its coder so <clears throat> let's see whether this will come in useful and then I'm using a very basic palette so I'm going to try to stick to that few colors that I often um, use when I'm out uh, on sites doing urban sketching. Um, this is also from a drill that um, I created recently. I'm going to use it as a way to map <clears throat> my thinking, my drawing as well. So you, you will see me explaining this um, template, uh, this uh, thing that I do okay, to help me play. All right, um, so let's see where we start. So in my mind, I like to sometimes do a little bit of planning before um, we begin. So it's important to kind of understand what we're looking at. So I'm looking at like a big two layer cake here. So we've got the top half, the bottom half. I'm also looking for so those are two very strong horizontal <coughs> elements. And I'm also looking for um, interruptions and, and segments. So I can see this um, old um, group of shawhouse composed of three units. And this unit at the right is a little bit bigger. So I'm <coughs> going to remember that. And also um, as an urban sketcher, we, um, I'm always asking myself, you know, what is the story? So the story is about, you know, probably uh, this man working in this shop, which I'm not sure what kind of shop that is. Um, and how this shop is connected to the two other units left and right. And I'm also very curious about what's happening above the shop. Maybe someone lives there. I can see a bit of an, of an altar. So that could be something useful okay, for uh, my sketch. I'm not going to draw everything, there are bits and pieces that I like and um, maybe my big detour will take me to interesting places. So I guess um, as a road map, you will see that there is a, a nice dark section here and how <clears throat> this juxtaposed by very strong horizontal elements and it connects us up here to where maybe the family altar is and then it's covered by this nice roof and there are some decoration to remind us that you know it's somewhere in Asia and that's take, that will take us back to across of the story and there's a nice little dark bits here dark bits here and 
I think I have enough to start playing and you can see how this and this not very different and can use it in many ways and that's a way to help me you know think about how things um, are part of a whole a bigger whole and how things can be more, better connected so let's start playing so let's start with a big brush to my <coughs> credit credit card at the moment. So I am doing <coughs> something quite urgent, which is to start with the very dark, so that I can quickly determine um, light and the contrast.
so at the moment I have <clears throat> kind of plotted uh, the crux of my sketch, the uh, story that I want to tell. And I'm just um, now starting to expand outwards and then see how I can make this um, story clearer and more exciting as well. So I'm moving the back and forth from um, drawing and applying paint. So I'm <clears throat> really responding to what I'm discovering along the way as well. Sometimes I'll make an adjustment because I think, you know, that's um, going to help with the story that I want to tell. I'm also very conscious about the uh, very light and <coughs> very dark um, bits in this uh, photograph. Try not to. St I try not to stay uh, uh, too long in one area, so that I can keep moving around to see how things are <laughs> relating to each other. Now let's see. Let's build a credit card. Yes, I'm getting a little bit messy. That's fine. This is the water soluble graphite pencil. And also the other reason to kind of roam, um, rove around the sketches, I'm actually waiting for some areas to dry, but I don't want to uh, stop working. So that's why I'm kind of moving around because I'm waiting for <clears throat> some of the previous uh, bits to settle, to dry. Thank you. 
do some drawing. Covering quite well ground, which is good. I think this is a motorbike shop, or <clears throat> at least I can see a motorbike there. So. I'm just going to try to indicate that and there are some objects in the room so we're just <clears throat> suggesting so indigo is a favorite color of mine it's a really um, <clears throat> fun color to use uh, to create darks other than using black So that there's a bit of <coughs> variation from um, other black uh, dark shades in the sketch. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Losing a bit of the highlight here, so I'm gonna just punch the color a little bit. to the roof a little bit so let's see Thank you. 
So now I'm kind of just going around to see the bits and pieces that uh, I may have missed out and what will contribute to an interesting story. I think it's starting to come together <clears throat> at least um, what I uh, was imagining before we start So now I'm looking for places I can <clears throat> add a bit of accent and to more accurately describe this thing that I'm drawing. I'm also looking for um, textures that I may have missed.
quite close to completing this sketch so just a couple more moments to <clears throat> have a look review some of the areas that I think may need a little bit of help uh, emphasis The last few bits just to <clears throat> finish the story. I'm really happy with um, how I moved along. So, uh, if I'm on location, I'll probably stop here and have a break or for lunch. And maybe a couple of hours later, I would just have a relook at this and add a bit of <clears throat> accent and just kind of bring some of the areas that have dried back to life. So I'm just really indicating things that can help just lift it ever so slightly. A lot of times there's small marks that really adds a little bit more um, visual interest.
Okay, so this is my um, little demo for you. Have a wonderful day ahead, and feel free to uh, let me know what you think about this demo. You can see that I'm still trying to fiddle around with it. Difficult to stop. This is um, just so just enjoying this process of playing. All right, so that's it. Have a wonderful day. See you. Bye.